Who else is streaming? Frenzy, right? Yeah, Frenzy. Oh, check is better. Nah, Frenzy is okay. Must be okay then. All right, uh, let's go. It's not really ideal, <clears throat> but what can we do? Tight water glades. What the hell are they thinking? All right, uh, let's go. It's Wait. not what the really ideal. The fuck? <clears throat> but what can we do? Ah, cool. Stream is working now in OBS. Okay, this is it. Um, Jao KK versus WFZ. The undead, of course, WFZ, the orc, Shao KK. Tier 3 tech is already there, and TC second, I saw that. Blade Master first. Oh no. Okay, the TC. Uh, what? I saw a Torrent Chieftain for sure. Is he playing something incredibly weird, or am I just mistaken? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Shadowhunter is coming, and why does he find the game and I'm not? Okay, um, trying to find it again. It's not in my Nettie's list. Ah, ah, there's more. Wait a second. I'll get it in a second. It must be there somewhere. <sighs> okay, apparently not. <laughs> At least you can see the game now for a while. All I see is human org, but why not? Why is it not? F ah, I got it! I got it, boys! We got it. Okay, we have to fast forward a bit. But should be alright. Ooh, what a stressful beginning to this cast. Uh, sorry for being late, but nobody told me you had a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, no, but nobody told me that it's going to be early. So I'm setting everything up, and the game starts, and bam. Yeah, that's a little better, right? With in-game sounds and stuff. That's good. Okay, K. WFC. Zero, zero. What's the colors again? Blue for the orc. Oh, no. Blue for the... No, pink for the orc. And blue for WFC. A player's forces are that under way attack. That's right. I have no idea what happened so far, but we're gonna see about that. Uh. Bam. A player's forces are under attack. That's right. Nice. Okay, so let's see what happened. TC is coming. I knew I saw a TC. It's triple hero then. And I hope it's not too loud, but I think it's all right. Um, but let me know in chat if you have something Town is under um, that's bad on stream. Blade Masters level three, Book of the Dead, Health Stone, nothing too fancy. DK level three as well, also Book of the Dead. Lich pretty stacked so far, but only a player's force uh, no orb. But I think the d yeah the Death Knight got it for him. Oh, did he wall off? Yes, he did. No way to enter there. But yeah, Tidewater Glades, man. I don't know what to think. I've never seen this in Warwood. Oh, Book of the Dead! There is no statue. I know, yeah, there is Destroyer form coming, but there's no dispel. Mass damage, and he has to walk all the way back. In the meantime, Shadowhunter and TC, of course, can creep whatever they want. The ghouls try to defend this, but the archers are doing a magnificent job. One echo down. Second echo down. Oh boy. But I think he can't get more than that, right? I mean, DK is already here. Oh, the Blade Master dies! Around the corner! 
Not careful enough. Gets the fourth Acolyte though. And I think a ghoul. Pit Lord third. Oh boy. Ooh, gotta wake up here. Intense game going on. So it was a TC third. Uh, then the Chinese stream was way ahead of Frenzy, I think. So that's what I uh, saw. And now we'll see the revenge, right? A player's force he constantly reproduced the acolytes, so he's back to full gold. 6,700. Here it's... Okay, that's not too much. That's not too much gold he lost there. Um, due to this harass. 45 burrows is ready, so it takes some time. But the Kodo Beast, that would be a massive pickup. Okay, he got one, so it's not that big. But a Kodo Beast is always nice. Yeah, of course, from from two and two, uh, from two and two, I know this map as well, but not from one on one. That's definitely strange. But okay. A player's forces are under cool that we see attempts to switch up the map pool a bit. GCS tried to oh raider nice heal wave. Um, GCS tries to get Lost Temple back in the pool. A town is under siege. And here we have Tidewater Glade, so. Fresh air into the old dusty Warcraft environment. So he got one burrow. He is supply stuck now. Can't reproduce anything. Blade Master will be popping out in a second. Is there dust? Yes, there is. Orb of Lightning on the TC. Who has Stomp first, of course. And he gets this Kodo. Oh, Book of the Dead being used. He wants this fight now. Blade Master without any mana. Speed scroll engagement. Where's the stomp coming? Howl of Terror. Boom! Nicely done. Uh, that stomp was. But there's no dispel. So everything deals less damage. Uh, the Blade Master as well. Minus six in this. The Kodo has eaten a fiend and escapes. So the damage aura is gone. A little focus fire on the Blade Master now. Can he dispel something for more mana? No, he doesn't. Um, not really. Book of the Dead is helping to a degree here. Next, Howl of Terror. Looks okay for WFC. Is there another call for that fiend? Yeah, well done. 54 critical strike only. You see the impact of the Howl of Terror. Level 3 on the Lich and... Okay, he has no mana anymore, but maybe he can eat a unit. Gets another grunt. The WFC looking very dominant here. This fiend will go down. He doesn't have burrow, but he trades it for a raider. That's always nice. Destroyer is still in the air and the Book of the Dead is coming back to support this. And now it's going on to the heroes. TC seems to be the first victim of the undead. But not enough, he survives. Nice micro by Shao KK. Moving that away, and the Blade Master is single handedly taking care of the destroyer, but almost suffers fatal damage. Seven second cooldown, nice block, no wind walk. This seems to be it. And the Blade Master dies for the second time. Shao KK leaves the game, and 1 0 for WFC. Alright, that was uh, an impactful start of the uh, of, of the day. Lots of stuff going on at the same time. Yeah, on time. This uh, this game is still being played, and it's uh, pretty healthy. Our scene here. We have tons and tons of tournaments. Okay, second game has started as well. It's Ancient Isles. Gonna look for that. You can find the schedule if you type grid, there, but yeah, there's a lot of Night Elf games coming. can assure you that. So, gotta update our homepage. Uh, okay, the game has just started, so we won't miss anything big. This is China, Undead, 1230, Shao KK, China, Orc. Our second match of the day is Lolite versus Focus, two Koreans facing each other. And it's gonna be 13 
arbitrary then. South Korea. Orcs. So yeah, we have uh, three matches with Night Elves, I think. That's quite a lot. After Lawlight versus Focus, we're going to have Czech versus Yumiko. So the humans are represented as well. Very surprising that Focus eliminated Yumiko 2-0. I haven't seen the games yet. But a lot of people on Readmore wrote that Yumiko didn't seem to be too motivated. And we have our Ukrainian boy, Foggy. He's playing Remind later today as our main event here. Okay, homepage is up to date, and we're lurking, we're searching, we're looking <laughs> uh, for the next game. Just see Orc Worker. But yeah, the, th the three minute delay on, on Nettie's guys, you know it by now. After all the games we casted there. Yumiko got crushed pretty hard, yeah, I read that. It was the new meta. <laughs> Moon still plays on time? Yes, he does. He came back in December. Well, I think it's pretty cool if you're coming back to the scene because there's still so many faces that you know, like Moon, Lin, Remind, um, maybe Yaws in Germany, Hawk, you know, these guys. But also you have fresh blood from players like Foggy, who is our... Best European, I'd say. He's the European champion, and I think he's a pro gamer, or he does nothing else but that. And he plays a lot of Chinese tournaments as well, so we have global competition um, with new faces, with old faces. It's a pretty cool mix, and the meta game has changed a bit, but you can still like follow the tactics that you are used to from back then. There's just a little deviation in everything, so it's pretty cool. Can you elaborate why orcs go for late game versus undead? Because it's super strong. Like. The damage with the blade master alone in the late game usually wrecks undeads. Is there something like WCG? Yes, it is called WCA. So even there you don't have to uh, change too much. It's basically the successor of WCG. But with fewer games and with cooler games, no mobile games anymore or Guitar Hero or that shit. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be there most likely in Yinchuan in China to cast it. Hopefully, I mean, nothing is set in stone, but... We've been there the last two years and it would be a disaster for me personally if we're not invited. And afterwards, there's GCS. Uh, it's a tournament by the publisher of Blizzard games in China called NetEase. And that will happen I immediately after WCA. So there is hope that we get invited to both. So Yeah, on time. Uh, feel free. How to qualify? There is a qualifier um, coming up soon. You can still sign up, North American qualifier. It, it doesn't matter where you're from, everybody can play the North American qualifier. Guitar Hero, I like playing Guitar Hero like casually, but I think as a competitive game at a world championship, it doesn't make much sense, right? Okay, game is up. And we're starting. I hope they didn't change the colors too much. That's always a pain in the ass. Oh, red.
player's forces are under attack. All right. Here we go. Got it, right? Yep. Everything looks good. Okay, there was a question in the chat. Um, you said it was cool that they had new maps. Do you think there would be interest in a Jera S Cup um, with unusual, the maybe even community made maps? Definitely. But I think uh, it's better to just throw in a map into the current map pool or two of them so they can't get vetoed all the time. Uh, and just to get people to know them like slowly. I don't think we should do a cup only with unusual maps. So, game has started. We're here on Ancient Isles. Late Master, of course, first pick. A very unusual creep route here by Zhao KK. With three grunts. Very aggressive creeping. But yeah, big experience lead now. A level 1.25 versus level 2.6. Can he get a grunt though? That would be the biggest thing for Zhao KK, uh, the, for, for WFZ. Maybe he can block with that fiend. Looking good so far. And there's a coil and there's a kill. That's 200 gold that Chao KK will not get back. And of course experience. But if he gets the fiend in return, that's, I think, worth it. But there is another coil. And he saves himself into the base. Oops, overlay didn't update. There we go. He takes a lot of hits. So the damage is spread amongst all three fiends that could be bad later on. But if he gets statue soon, this won't be an issue. Oh, there's another coil soon-ish. No aura though, but on the other side there's no boots, so he can't keep tabs on the nice block. Oh, what a beautiful block. He goes Nova first, interestingly, just to get that grunt. Okay, he killed two grunts. That means... He can't really creep, because with only two grunts, man, what are you supposed to do? He rebuilds this one. This time it's Lodge and Beastery, so we will see walkers. But at the moment, he's so crippled that he can't do shit. A player's forces are under Death Knight attack. got uh, two grunts, and that's basically it. Slaughterhouse is coming for destroyers, statues, everything. Tier 3 tech halfway done, and then, of course, we'll have uh, the Orb of Corruption. But at the moment... He has to play a little bit defensive, even though there's just two grunts, because he doesn't have frost armor. So the blade master is still a threat. <laughs> two rings and two circlets. Not the luckiest orc that we've seen in a while. And the death knight is still level one. That's a big issue. A That's a really big issue, but he's keeping tabs here with the skeleton. That's nice. If he steals, this would be, if it would be amazing. And he got no. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> that was so close. Level three on the blade, going into windwalk immediately. That has a longer duration now. WFZ quite risky to go for that camp, but he built. Uh, he buys a zeppelin. Heal Watts, of course, very, very nice for creeping. Blade Master is coming around. Wow, three rings, man. 14.2 armor points. <laughs> Bad thing is, uh, you want damage with that guy, not tankiness. Slaughterhouse is ready, so we get the statue, we get the destroyer form. On the other side, Raider Walker and a pretty late tier 3. That's due to the fact that he had to rebuild two raiders, or at least one raider. I don't know if he rebuilt the second one. But yeah, looks like smooth sailing for WFZ, but we've said this earlier, uh, like yesterday. And in the end, he turned the game around versus Foggy. Magnificent comebacks from Zhao KK. Fate Master is coming, but there is Frost Armor now. So he can't really attack. Oh, watch a ward. He's walking right into it. He knows what's up. He used the coil, so no last hit potential for Kajin. Shadowhunter is level 3, though. 
player's forces are under attack. 40 food versus 43, waiting for the destroyer upgrade to finish. And the Pit Lord, once again, the hero of choice. This time there is gonna be Dispel, but maybe just one. And it's hurt already, so sniping. Wow, uh, sniping this walker shouldn't be a problem, especially with Colonova Nova and destroyers. When of the Wind can be a threat though. If you use it at the perfect time, then there's no coil that results in a kill. Fruit of Accuracy would be amazing. Sobby Mask would be amazing. Robot the Magi would be amazing. That's what he's looking for. Takes a lot of time. No web. Ah, there it is. Belt of Giant Strength. Nah. I think he'll sell it. A little more HP on the Death Knight, a little more damage is never wrong. But on the other side, you know, not that great either. Replenishment potion, that's all right. Still only one walker. How far along are the upgrades? Kodo beasts are coming. No fortified defenses yet. No Kodo upgrade. And the only thing he got is a lightning orb. Did he buy an expansion? No, no resources for that. A player's forces are under attack. On the other side, we have the orb of corruption now. For the lich, claws would be great for him here. The zappelin, I don't know if if it will do great, or if, if it will be put to great use, but we're gonna see about that. Boots of Keltaras. He finally gets rewarded for. He's creeping. The other items were pretty bad. But now with plus 15 and increased attack speed, that's pretty nice. A player's forces are under attack. Berserker upgrade for the headhunters, but he doesn't have one yet, right? Okay. So at the moment, I think it's gonna it would be a perfect timing for WFZ to fight. No TC. No upgrades, but now it's all coming. Berserker upgrade is finished. Warsong Battle Jumps upgrade is coming. Let's see what he does. Okay, the Zeppelin uh -uh. versus Lightning Orb and Ant Snare. I think uh, shouldn't be too reliant on that. First defense upgrade for the Fiends and the, des and the Destroyer. On the other side, no upgrades as we are used to from orcs. Second Kodo Beast and the first Headhunter. So the orcs becoming stronger and stronger. 57 versus 56, so both players basically use the same time to break upkeep. A player's forces are under attack. But WFZ with a lot more resources for items. Does he have an Invo Potion? Yes, he does. And plus 11 on the Lich, is also nice. Invo Potion on the Death Knight as well. There's gonna be a lot of single target damage, so they would, you don't really need a heal scroll against Orc. It is great for the Orc though, if they have it. But he's really, he just wants this one walker for Dispel. Alright. Hero levels, 3, 3, 2, oh 3, 3, 2 is nice. Cleave, of course, for area of effect damage from the Pit Lord. Doesn't do too much, are under but he's attack. there for the Hall of Terror and to tank a little. And here we go. Speed scroll engagement by Zhao KK. The first grunt is gonna die immediately. Hall of Terror hits basically everything except the Blade Master, though, and that's what you usually want to counter. But yeah, this is easy pickups against the Headhunters with the Orb and the Fiend shots. You can't really do anything against it. The Obsidian Statues goes down though. No more healing, no more mana regen. And the two Kodos are still alive. Can he dodge? Nope. First Fiend is down. Nova on that Kodo gets rid of it. And the Howl of Terror is amazing. Now it hits the Blade Master as well. Minus five damage by, uh, uh, of every hit. Destroyer is eaten, so he gets the Orb of Annihilation, Area of Effect, and Chaos Damage, and boom, he kills even more. So basically, only the hero re remaining for Chao KK. And yeah, it looked like smooth sailing in the early game, it looks like smooth sailing in the late game. One more heal wave, but that's it. And there's one more Nova. There's no... M okay, there is mana on the TC. Nice call to save that Fiend. A little reinforcements, but Frostmourne hungers, and so does the Orb of Corruption. 
so he gets rid of everything. Almost level 3 Pit Lord. The Blade Master alone, though, kills a lot of fiends. Now it should be time for the focus. There's no. Okay, there is a mana potion and a heal potion. It's crazy how much damage he can do with just the Shadow Hunter and the Blade Master. Invo Potion being popped now. It's over though. And he loses another Fiend. Level 4 on the Blade Master as well. So Critical Strike level 2. He used that Mana Potion for the Heal Wave. He's going for the Pit Lord. There's an Invo Potion. Pop it! Pop it! Oh! Ho -ho! Bolts of Steel using the Howl of Terror first. Reveal being used in the Blade Master, but this is only seven seconds, but there's the coil. Well done. Well timed by WFZ. He has a statue again for mana region. He should switch it over to get more nukes. But well, there's the Nova soon. Three Raiders out again. There's a lot of ensnare. And once again he wants the Pit Lord. No mana anymore. Zeppelin! Not in time, Pit Lord down! And I talked about the uh, comebacks of Zhao KK. And this might be one of them. I mean, WFZ lost basically everything. Kodo Beast is still alive. So much. And says 148 critical strike. Invo Potion popped here. Hex on the Death Knight a little too late. But there's going to be a call for the Lich. But he's surrounded. What can he do against this man? Both heroes about to fall. He needs the heal potion of the Blade Master. Got it. Oh, the coil. So nice. Lich should be saved. But what about the DK? Who's going to die first? Blade Master. Oh, nice. Dark Ritual being used. What an epic fight here on Ancient Isles. He's fighting his way three, free, but the block from the statue! Oh my god! WFC Micros like a god, and the Blade Master is down. Therefore, the big damage is gone, and there's also no heal. WFC was in a very, very tense situation, but he kept cool, kept calm, and now it's time to shred the base to pieces. What can the Orc do against it? Buy the Blade Master back, yeah. And then? What are you gonna do then? No Destroyer in the air though. Does he have the resources? Yeah, easy. What's he waiting for? Ah! He's supply stuck! He can't get the Blade Master back! <laughs> Alright! That was an easy one! He took too much time, and WFZ knew if I can kill the buildings now, the barracks now, yeah, the barracks, the burrows now, that's it, and that is it. Two zero for WFZ. He advanced. Um, he advances to the winner bracket final, and his opponent is going to be Law Light of Focus. That's going to be our next match. Here we're going to a small commercial break. And then we'll be back here at Back to Warcraft.